Okay, I got the goods. Got some lunch for today. Um, juice I think it's a juice and then I also got this strawberry guava nectar it's Hawaiian sir and aloha made I think I'm gonna eat some of my food right quick in the car before I head over to the hotel um just because I am so hungry and I haven't eaten since like early this morning so let's see what this food looks like okay so I got this from Helena's Hawaiian food and all of it comes with coconut and onions so that's what this is I'm definitely gonna have to eat most of this when I get to the hotel but then I got macaroni salad. I think these are the ribs, actually. So I got beef ribs. Let's try that again. Let me see. Is that what this is? Yeah, beef ribs. I don't know what this is. Okay, rice. And then the poi, which is like the taro root. It's like a kind of like a soup, I guess. Maybe that's not the best way to say it, but yeah. Let's try this and see what it's hitting. Okay, so the ribs are so good. And then I took a little piece of coconut to have it with the rib. Really good. I'm gonna try this macaroni salad. I feel like it should just take like any macaroni salad, but let's see. Yeah, it's good too. I think I'm just gonna eat because yeah, I need to eat and then head to the hotel. And I look crazy, so I'm not going to show my face right now. Mm, definitely recommend this place. set of goods and they even gave me a free donut they said they had one just like i don't know i don't know they just gave it to me for free so how sweet of them definitely check them out i haven't even had them yet but their service was so good so definitely check them out so this was the room as soon as you walked in there's like a closet to the left oh i stayed at the surf shack hotel it's a boutique hotel very cute and they ended up giving me a handicap room, which was fine, but I kind of felt bad about it, just in case someone else wanted it. But yeah, it was a nice size space, very spacious. The bed was comfortable. The pillows were comfortable. Um, I had a nice balcony and view of the pool as well. And I think this was a full or queen size bed. I don't know. It was more than enough room. And then the bathroom was also very nice. I'm not sure how the bathroom would look that wasn't like made for a, like for accessibility purposes, but it was still very nice and spacious, very good lighting. Um, all around, I think I had a good experience and I would definitely stay here again. It was also like in Waikiki. So it was very accessible to the beach and just other like restaurants and stuff like that. So I very much, would recommend this hotel. Okay, so here are the donuts I got. You see, I already took a bite of that one. This one was the one they gave me for free. This one has like caramel and macadamia nut on it. And this one has like Kind of like apple pie feeling inside the donut. I'm obviously not gonna eat all of these. I actually don't know where I got so many. I mean, I originally got three, but then they gave me one for free. But he told me they keep well in the refrigerator, so I might just save a couple for tomorrow for breakfast. Okay, so I'm about to head out. This lighting is not the best, but I'm about to head out. It's about like 5:36 now. I'm finally checked in, settled, all that jazz. Um, 
I think I want to go watch the sunset. The set, sun is going to set at like 6.30. So I'm going to go watch the sunset and journal. I have this cute bathing suit top from Tab of the Browns collection. I got it from Target. I'm just going to throw on like a Nike shirt over it. And I got on some jean shorts and the bikini bottom under it. Hopefully I can take some cute like sunset pictures today for myself. Um, it's been a really long day, but a really good day. But yeah, I need to get going before the sun sets and then go find something to eat. And then I'm going to bring it back in, reconvene and have a full day tomorrow. So let's go. So when I was there, they had a lot of cultural events going on, which is really cool all in the Hawaiian Center and the Royal Hawaiian Center and everything was just so nice. I felt so safe. It was a really nice vibe. So I was really happy that like, I don't know, I was really nervous about going here by myself. So I was just very happy to see that, you know, there was nothing to worry about really. Eating the last of the donuts this morning for breakfast. The apple one is gone. I finished a cinnamon and macadamia one yesterday. This one's pretty good too. I just like, I don't know, I feel like it's too early for chocolate. And I can't believe I'm saying that because I love chocolate. So I was wrong about the parking lot. It wasn't full, it was just closed because they don't open till 6 45. I stopped at the scenic route and everyone is leaving right now, so I guess the parking lot is opening. I don't know, but I'm gonna go see. Because if anything, I can just come back here. This day, I decided to get up early to go to the Hanama Bay Nature Preserve, and it was so beautiful. I made it to the preserve it is so bright out here but it's so beautiful it's so warm I'm glad I came early I de definitely recommend coming early um, I don't know how I'm gonna finesse swimming because I know you should have a buddy but I have no one I'm just here by myself so yeah um, I may just like stay close to the shore I feel like it should be fine like um, but of course I'm gonna be safe I did rent some uh, fins because I already have a mask and snorkel but I didn't bring my personal fins because they were too big but I'm looking forward to getting into the water right now I think I'm just gonna bake right in my journal do some meditation and then yeah I'll catch up with y'all later Have to get a little snack before I go to my next destination. I'm so hungry. Okay, so I am about to leave the nature preserve um, and I think I'm gonna go to another beach. I'm so proud of myself because, yeah, you know, when you wanna do something and you kinda get anxious and scared about it because you never did it before, but then you go out and you do it and you like, I don't know, it just brings so much like joy to myself to see that like I did something that was seemed scary initially but then 
once I did it, it wasn't so scary after all. So I'm super proud of myself for just taking this solo location and you know, treating myself and giving myself time to just like relax and rest and just be by myself in a beautiful place. Like, I feel like it's such a privilege to be able to be here um, from the mainland and also just in general, just being able to have the time to come here. I do feel very um, grateful and thankful for that, but also just very excited to try something new and different. And I feel like it's gonna give me so much confidence to like continue to try new and different things, continue to travel, whether it be by myself or with friends and just like explore and yeah, just continue to grow. So, so proud of myself. I'm just so happy today. Like, I don't know, everything has been going as planned and I was so anxious about coming here. And I told myself, you know what? like. Few days before i left i was like don't worry about it everything will work itself out when you get there and everything really has worked itself out so i have faith that everything will just continue to work itself out so yeah let's go to the next beach and i doubt i'll vlog much because i do want to preserve my phone battery i think i want to go to this beach then i think i want to go to like the north shore for real so go to dole plantation and then go I, there are a couple of, like food places i want to try to get to if possible, I know parking is probably gonna be a headache and I don't know, it's like 1031, so it's like kinda early, but I feel like I'm getting to the part of the day where more people are gonna be up about and active. Um, being able to leave the hotel this morning around like 520 was a really good move. And I feel like in general, you probably wanna start your day really early here if you wanna do a lot of things and kinda try to beat some of the traffic. But yeah. Let's go on and continue with today. to go to the north shore but the highway to get there is now closed there's a fire over there and i don't know if there's a car accident or what but i'm not from here and i don't know where i'm going so this is kind of sad because i'm obviously not gonna make it so i'm just gonna head back to waikiki is anyone else like this when they go out because i'm only one person anyway i am back here in the bathroom about to go uh, get dinner Yeah, I'm about to go get dinner, probably gonna get some sushi, and I didn't make it to Leonard's Bakery today, but there's another place that sells malasadas, so I'm gonna try to stop by there too, um, try to vlog a little bit, probably not as much because it's nighttime, so I definitely want to be in my P's and Q's, but yeah, this is, I love this top from Maritzia, it's like one of my favorite tops, and I'm just wearing some jean shorts and these sandals that I've been wearing the whole trip because they're so comfortable. Um, my hair obviously got wet today because I went to the beach and I had to wash it. Just put it in a bun. Tomorrow I'm probably going to do one more hair salad and then get my hair a break because it's been going through it. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, the lighting in here really sucks. I'm out of breath because... Anyway, um, this is the normal one with the no filling. And it's okay. I kind of feel like my initial reaction is that they're dry. Like on the outside. On the inside, it does feel like very soft and fluffy. But on the outside, I just can't help but feel like, wow, I really need some water. So don't get this 
without water. I will say this one with Nutella, so good. I only had one bite, but so good. Mm. Okay. This other one is peach and mocha filling. I was kind of annoyed. <gasps> so I was kind of annoyed that you could only order, like an order is a, a set of three. Which is like, I'm not gonna eat all these tonight. But then I was like, you should just save one for tomorrow. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just like I did for the donuts, but I don't know. I just feel like, I, I just didn't want three, I don't know. All right, let's try the peach one with mocha. Mm. I like the mocha on that one. Mm. The mocha and the peach are a good combination. They have like a filling of the day and a, I guess like sugar of the day. Very good. I ordered my sushi to go. It was really close here, but he told me it would take like 30 minutes and I'm just, I'm actually like PMSing right now. I'm just really tired of being around people and there's so many people out right now and I'm just irritated, so I don't want to be around anyone right now. I just want to have some food. I want to cozy up, and I want to be alone. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait till I go get my sushi. I think I'm just gonna read my book, maybe find something on Netflix on my iPad to watch if there's nothing on the TV. Oh my gosh, I feel like I should save this one for tomorrow. It's like an unexpected good taste. Mm. Mm. it's very different i don't understand it's like it's very different but i'm gonna eat the regular one and then the tele one tonight and save that one for the morning it's not gonna taste the same that's what's gonna make me really sad because i don't have a microwave but yeah that's basically all that's happening tonight so i'm probably gonna be done for today vlogging and just see y'all again tomorrow because I'm really in my feelings right now like really later okay so today is the last day like I said I don't know something is going on with my camera but I'm on my way to islands island vintage coffee I stopped at the ABC store to get a spam musabi and a beach mat because my towel is not dry I forgot that when the AC is so cold like things are not gonna dry so my stuff is still wet but um, yeah I just decided I wanted to get up early to watch the sunset, but my body said no. I'm like, let me respect my body. So I didn't get up, um, but I'm up now. I'm trying to beat the crowd, supposedly, um, but I want to take pictures at the beach. And so I feel like getting there early will help me be able to take pictures while having so many people like in my picture. I'm wearing this cute dress. I got it from JLux Label, and I've already gotten so many compliments uh, on it already. The only thing is like it doesn't have a slit it's kind of hard to walk in so i can't walk as fast as i usually walk because i walk really fast but i guess that's good so it will force me to slow down today and just enjoy this last day that i have here finally got my acai bowl my coffee this coffee, y'all, is actually worth the hype. Like, as soon as I tasted it, I was like, oh, MG. It's so good. I got a Hawaiian honey latte. Then I got our original acai bowl. Just want to sit here at the beach for a little while. It's pretty hot, actually, so I may not stay out as long as I thought. I just want to get some cute pictures. The sun is scorching now, so I don't even think I'm going to get the vibe I was going for with my pictures, but we'll see. <sighs> kind of wishing I woke up early, but also glad I listened to my body. Y'all, I forgot my shades. I forgot my hat. I'm literally tripping. So I doubt I'm going to stay out here this much longer because it's too hot. And I need to go ahead and take pictures so I can go. It's too hot. <laughs> it's not even a vibe. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I fall 
for you every time I try to resist. Taking it away, I'm just beach feels and then every day. So I made my way to the garden and it's starting to rain. Hopefully not too much, then I'll have to run to the car, but it's so pretty here. It's so pretty. How beautiful. So I'm actually like ending my trip where I started, which is at Bootland, and I had to get some poke. I was really sad that Ono Seafood was closed today because of Sunday, and yeah, that was really bummed me out, but I decided I could still have some poke from Hawaii, Hawaii, and so this is the spicy aha tuna, and I'm going to taste this a little bit before I head to the airport to return the car.